and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. I'm going to be going over the best players to use the 96 overall power pass on. Now, I'm probably going to be posting this today for the new series update because I was thinking about it and... I didn't want to post it before because you guys wouldn't have had it yet, but the 96 overall power pass does become available today as well as the 97 overall power pass. But the issue with the 97 overall pow uh, power pass is that there's not exactly a lot of them, a lot of players out yet. So if I made a list, I'd probably just be recapping like the same players that are out. So I think I'm going to hold that video till tomorrow for multiple reasons. First off being that most of you guys probably won't max out your mutt level today and get to the level 70 uh 97 power pass anyways as well as by the time you guys do at the earliest will probably be tomorrow for the large majority of you guys so i'll have that out tomorrow but you a lot of you guys might actually get the level 60 uh 96 pass at level well it's gonna be 85 so only five levels you could you probably hit that by today or tomorrow morning so i want to get that video up first so you guys help you out and then hopefully by the time you guys get to the 97 that video will also be available as well as ultimate legends will be coming tomorrow so i kind of want to coincide ultimate legends which will be a lot of more 97 overalls with the 97 overall power pass but guys before we get into the video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys come join the family we are at 19,300 subscribers guys we're super close i can feel it getting close every day if you're watching this video make sure to come join the family subscribe to the channel 20k as soon as we hit 20k guys that'd be awesome that'll be a huge milestone i'll probably have to do a giveaway when we hit 20k because that's just that's one fifth of the way so one of our many goals guys comment down below what you guys like when i say the players right as i do the list comment down below who you think should be added to this list if you guys thought i missed on anyone and as well as make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get this video to 300 likes guys that'd be greatly appreciated now let's get into the video so first i'm gonna start with the honorable mentions now these guys are honorable mentions not just because they're stats because the just the value you get out of these certain cards right here so i'm heading over to the 96 filter obviously because that's what we're gonna be rocking with so the first guy at number seven, he's in, well, number seven and six are honorable mentions. They're not my top five, but they're guys that it could fit for your team. Now, these are NFL honors cards. Well, the first one is. Now, for some reason, I've come to realize that there's no NFL honor filter. I don't know if I'm just dumb or if I can't find it, but I've had a lot of issues trying to search them. So let's try that again. But the, what I mean by efficiency is if you guys didn't know, some cards in this game are able to be powered up past through like two cards with only one upgrade if they're close in overall. And this guy is one of those guys, and it's why it's super awesome. So I think one guy you could use your power pass is going to be 96 overall, Michael Thomas. That's just an honorable mention. Now, you might say Michael Thomas' speed is not too great. Yes, but if you guys didn't know, like I said, since Michael Thomas is 96 and his NFL Honors card is a 97, when you power up to his Team of the Year card, you automatically end up getting his 97 card. It like just comes together. So pretty much you're getting an NFL Honors and a Team of the Year, which is a value of almost like 800k. You get all of that for the price of one, as well as having and fully powered up and kept up. He's going to come close to like a 99 overall. So your team overall is going to be kind of stacked. You're going to get a great value because realistically, your 96 pass should only give you like a 96 overall player, but it comes to 97 with that. This way, you're going to be getting close to a 99 overall card, end game potentially card, just because of the, these overall wise. And if you're on a Saints theme team, there's just a lot, of, a lot of ways that you can make that work. Now, next on the list is going to be a limited time card. I like to always put LTDs on here because for the most part, you kind of want the LTDs. Because they're so expensive, it kind of makes it easier for you when you're able to just get past them and not have to buy them. Now, Tyron Matthew is one guy that I'm going to toss on here. Tyron Matthew, you might look at him at first glance and be like only 92 speed, 5'9", but he is a he's a combination of everything. He has the speed, the excel, the play rec, the zone, the man, the hit power, and he goes for a, a pretty penny because he's an LTD. Guys, he can do pretty much everything on the field. You compare him to Pat Tillman, and you look at them faster way better excel it excel is important tackling not so great player x similar pursuit similar now the big difference here is man coverage now you guys might not think man coverage is that big of a deal but man coverage is a big deal on a strong safety especially for all you guys who blitz if you don't realize the safety sometimes when you blitz man up on people whether it be a tight end or they man up on a running back or they man up on a wide receiver now if it's not a wide receiver or a tight end one cut any kind of route running on like a, a guy like pat tillman he's getting cooked and they're taking it to the house because if you didn't know when you blitz and you're one-on-one -on -one, typically if it's like a tight end doing like a a slant or like an out route you're gonna cook the safety right off the right off the rip you're gonna turn it upfield and when you're blitzing everyone's locked in their man so no one's gonna be around to support you at the time i'm telling you i've gotten burned plenty of times like this having a guy who can man especially when they try to force it to him could definitely help you guys out but that was just an honorable mention now getting to the top five number five on the list is a guy that i think is end game which is pretty much why i put him on this list 
I don't want to have guys. I don't want to power pass guys just for now. I like to power pass guys I'm keeping. So Champ Bailey is one of them. Champ Bailey, 94 speed, 96 man, 91 zone, and 90 press. He's pretty much, in my opinion, he's always Deion Sanders with just slightly less speed. He's always a, a more physical version, a more physical, slower version of Dion, but very slightly. But they both can return picks. They both can kick return. They're both uber athletic. The next Champ Bailey card, which will be an Ultimate Legend card, should be end game. Probably come close to like a 99 speed as well as Dion. Him and Dion on both sides of the field are just clamps. If you can get him, Dion, and Nitrin Lane, you're pretty much set for the year. So I think Champ Bailey's a solid addition. Fully powered up in Chem Dub. He's going to come close to 99 zone. Actually, he will get 99 man, I mean. And then like a 94 zone. Great press, great speed, great excel. Great agility. Overall, just a great card. Next, another guy's going to be Endgame. Now, he's going to compete with the... The Endgame card is going to be Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and Michael Vick, in my opinion. And Steve Young, of course. But I don't think Steve Young is going to be one of the top three. So this Michael Vick, compared to Pat Mahomes, obviously Pat Mahomes is going to beat him in every step. When you compare him to Lamar, the new Lamar, the new Lamar is better than this Vick, but the next Vick should be better than the new Lamar. Now, the new Vick typically comes out in the first like three weeks of ultimate legend so you can maybe see him by the end of february the latest so if you want to power him up now you can potentially get your end game quarterback set it and forget it and just be done with it by the time the lamar uh by like by the time the lamar hype train is done this vic's gonna be out he's gonna be the best quarterback and lamar is way too much money right now if lamar was like a million coins maybe but he's like 2.9 3 million coins i think i might just keep my chance with vic because ultimate legend vic will be a lot cheaper than a limited time lamar mvp so i think vic's a great option Endgame Vic's gonna have 99 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw on the run, 99 throw deep, close to it at least. And then the throw mids, like usual, gonna be like a 92, his throw short's gonna be like a 94. That's all gonna be decent, but it's that th crazy throw power, crazy throw on the run, great throw under pressure, great throw deep, and that speed as well, the juke and everything. And he's a bit tinier, so I feel like it's sometimes easier to run when you're a bit tinier. You feel a little more agile with them. Now, this guy, I really love this guy, I prefer most mostly because of what you can do with him. He only costs 275,000, that's super cheap, right? But beyond that, remember, he's just like Michael Thomas. You can get his full card by just powering up this card. So once you power him up to his most fear 93, pretty much you just pay training, and then you end up getting, you put your power pass into him, and then you automatically get him. So him fully powered up, this is what you get. You get decent athleticism, right? Now you can, you can knock it all you want, but at the end of the day, it's really not that bad. Like it's, it's not great, but it's not that bad for an end. I mean, again, remember, if you don't like his speed, put him to the defensive tackle, and then you have the best defensive tackle in the game. So this is what he has fully powered up in camera. He has like 99 strength, close to 99 tackle, 99 play record, 99 block shed, and close to 99 power move when you have all the John Madden stuff on him and you have all his cams. He's going to be one of the best pass rushers as well as one of the best run stuffers in Madden. And you get him for the small price of just upgrading to his most feared and then power passing this and then getting there. It's kind of glitchy in my opinion. You get a lot of value, so that's why I think it's worth it. Coming in at number two on the list for the power pass, it's going to be Troy Palomalu. Now, he just got added... As you guys know, by the time you're watching this, he's already in the game. Now, the first Troy Palomalu was his Mutt 10 card. I've been telling you he was going to get an upgrade, so we kind of expected this. But I've been saying since his Mutt 10, I did not like his Mutt 10. His Mutt 10 did not have good hit power. His speed wasn't too great. His man wasn't as great. His zone wasn't as great. And on a Mutt 10 card, at the time we had Pat Tillman, Pat Tillman was the speed hit power zone combo. So for them, to, for people to surpass Tillman, it took a lot. But what, what's important about Tillman is Tillman had it all at a time when nobody else did. Now that other players have it, it's well, well looked at. To see if you can upgrade over him now if you're willing to do so troy palomalu is faster than tillman by quite a bit once you power him up and chem him up his hit power is almost the same it's very close zone's gonna be way better as well as man coverage gonna be way better and the tackle's gonna be the only thing he really falters in but that play wreck's gonna be close to 99 as well as that pursuit as well as that excel that excel is huge now troy palomalu big name too so it's always fun to use your, your power pass on a big name it's gonna be fun to have that you otherwise probably wouldn't have bought and not to mention you can do everything as a safety and that man coverage is important i've been saying that all year because when this is a blitz heavy year blitz heavy year or man heavy year so when you're manned up your safeties get manned up on tight ends slot wide receivers running backs and for the most part what happens when you have bad man coverage on a safety that's if you guys ever realize if you're ever blitzing and you think you're gonna get the quarterback and last second the quarterback throws a last minute heater and it goes right to like a tight end making a cut and he turns it up field for 80. That's because he was one-on-one -on -one with one of the safeties more than likely and the safety has no man. So literally he just lets him get his cut off and he completely just gets cooked and has and stumbles backwards while he does it. That's always been the issue with the safety to a bad man. And I've seen it all year, which is why the new Pat Tillman upgrades does have better man. But Troy Palomalu is better excel, better speed, better zone. He's a better coverage guy with similar hit powers. So I prefer Palomalu over the new Tillman. Although Tillman is free to so get away with that. Now let's head over to the number one option, which also an ultimate legend that you should have seen already, and that's Calvin Johnson Jr. Super excited about him, guys. We've not got a Calvin Johnson card since last year. 
and that's not counting his free safety last year which was i believe his ultimate legend card again no his, was it his most feared first and his ultimate legend i don't remember but we haven't gotten one like a, what feels like over a year but super excited we did now the thing with calvin guys his route running may not look the best but he's got 95 speed with 6 foot 5 height and 60, uh, 97 jumping you have to realize that a tight end that's 6 foot 5 even with like 88 speed can be kind of glitchy because he gets those box down animations where he can catch the ball and just body people around him and he gets like really good catching animation because of his height and his size now guys like tyree kill has speed but he can't get those animations because he's too tiny the beauty of calvin has always been no matter what his stats say he's six foot five so he's gonna be the tallest guy on the field for the most part he's gonna overpower everyone while also being powered up in chemdo can't get him to a 98 99 speed because if you power him up in chemdo up powered up he'll be a 96 with sprinter he'll be a 98 with john madden excel athleticism he'll be a 99 so you can potentially get a 99 speed with 99 jumping, with 99 spec catch, with 99 catch and traffic, or at least close to it, but close to 99 deep route running. Guys, this card's a monster. You gotta go with Calvin out of all people. I have not gotten wide receivers all year, so I will be using my 96 pass on Calvin Johnson. I'm gonna get him all the way up. That's my wide receiver. My, Tyre, my end game wide receiver more than likely will be Tyreek Hill, Torrey Holt, Calvin Johnson. I'll call it a day with those wide receivers. I'm super happy to say I'm doing so. And now pretty much as a whole, to wrap up the list, it was Michael Thomas, Tyran, Champ Bailey, Bick, Calais Campbell, Troy Palomalu, and Calvin. Now at this point in time, I, I'm not. Now that these two ultimate legends have come out, I'm probably gonna use it on Calvin or Troy Palomalu, but more than likely Calvin, because I do have Pat Tillman, and I feel like I, if Calvin's on, if you are new to the channel, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Everyone watching right now, if you're new, make sure to sub. We're super close to 20k. Let's get there as quickly as possible. You guys boomed the other day. Let's get back to that. Comment down below if you guys think I should have added anyone to this list. If you guys have any other arguments for these guys, let me know down below in the comments. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes in this video, guys? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.